Hello, hello, everybody. What is going on today? Uh, who do we have here? M A L. Oh, Malga. So excited with a uh, pumped arm. And Chad Feeney. Yo, I expected big height train for you guys releasing the 10.3 color with Big Me. Uh, you mean like now or like on today's live? We're not. No, we're not talking about that today. I mean, you can ask about that. Absolutely. But uh, no, we're talking about the hand Vaughn. The hand Vaughn is proving to be, uh, Bob, what's up? Uh, one of the most unique note-taking slates in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird it's it's so weird this thing um we got uh steven what's up we, we got a 10.3 which you know with uh note taking and uh apps and uh it it, it looks so does the handphone have google play no it does not uh, it just looks so like business as usual. Like, okay, yeah, this is, you know, yet another note taker, but it's not. It's so unique. If you guys haven't watched the review yet, this thing is only five and a half millimeters thin. Look, look how thin that is. Can I, can I get it? Look at that here. Oh, let's see. Uh, what are we doing? Access down. Look at that. That's really thin. Extremely thin. It's thinner than the pen. Uh, the pen is really cool too. Uh, let's get some eyes on the scene here with a top down uh what am i doing here okay move that move this move my keyboard all right let's get some top down going on here hope it's configured it is oh it's a little bit off there's mr smiley face okay so yeah it's showing a lot of the screen that's fine so put my coffee off to the side here this unit has a very unique pen. As you open it up like this, it has a hidden canister at the back with two nibs, a palm nib and a felt nib. The felt one being the one that has a little bit more graphite grib, uh, a grit in it. Let's go like this. Oh, there we go. Uh, and the palm nib being more um, uh, flexible and soft. Steven, does it feel very fragile at, at, at that thin, though? You know what? Surprisingly, it doesn't. And I have a, a, a mistake I must uh, correct. I thought this was plastic. It's actually a slab of Gorilla Glass at the back. Doesn't scratch at all. It's really cool. We're going to be doing a giveaway on this. Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the giveaways moving forward. I mean, I don't... I, I guess I can make that decision, but for the most part, I don't. It's up to the... Um, YouTube team and stuff like that. Um, oh, close the app. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so what's the best way to import and export PDFs? Just USB cable. Just pop them in. Um, yeah, this doesn't need to be any more than that. Now, now, why I say this is unique is because, watch this. There's no touch screen at all. Very weird. So weird in 2022. A lot of you guys might be saying, oh, you don't need that. We did have a couple comments on the, the video, but... Yeah, you do. I'm sorry, but a capacitive digitizer is so commonplace now to not have one is is considered weird. It's very strange. And a lot of this, man, as you use this, you're just like, you know, you're using your pen, right? But then you suddenly you have that instinct to, to like holster your pen and start tapping. Can't do it. Cannot do it. And then you might be thinking, well, OK, well, that's I, that's fine, I guess. At least we got a glow light, right? Oh, how do you do that? See, it's not even... Like, I don't even remember how to do these things. It's a complete learning curve, this unit. Anyways, uh, doesn't have a glow light. There's no glow light on it. Is it a plastic screen? No, it's glass. Now, there is a benefit to not having a capacitive digitizer and a glow light. And why that is, is because every time you add a layer on top of the screen, anytime you add something, a digitizer, a Wacom digi digitizer, etc., you're physically adding something physically over the unit. So there is your touchscreen digitizer and potentially a little bit of a, a layer to protect it. And then there's your glow light layer with LEDs. That's your gel glow light layer and potentially a layer to protect it because they have that if you watched our teardown. Each respective layer has its own kind of protection on top 
So without that, this is a very in-your-face device. It super, super is. What I mean by that is it's kind of hard to show on a webcam, of course. But typically when you look at the corners, you'll see that even though it's a flush screen and bezel, the bezel is a little bit higher than the actual screen because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of physical things and plastics and materials in front of the screen and this layer. This one doesn't really have that problem. It's very, very, very to the surface. It's almost like it is truly flush. It's quite miraculous in that regard. And it has a 6,000 milliamp battery, which is ginormous. That's as big as the Dasung Knot Reader. And it doesn't come much bigger than that. That's, that's pretty much the biggest battery you can get, guys. I mean, um, I think... No, that's a tablet. The TCL Next Paper 10 has an 8,000 million. That's, that's a tablet. Well, I mean, tablets, C readers, split and hairs. I mean, one has a LCD screen, etc. But still, um, yeah, in terms of an e paper device, this is one of the biggest batteries, period. Sadness, you are correct, would still want a glow light, though. I agree. I don't like that this doesn't have a glow light. I think it's silly. Um, it, it's it's sad to say, but when you don't have a glow light on something, you're taking a step back. Devices that don't have glow in this day and age is the Super Note, A5, A6, the Remarkable 2. Um, oh yeah, no glow. Uh, who else doesn't have a glow light? Oh, okay, yeah, like the Fujitsu. <clears throat> Fujitsu is a little bit of a different beast because this is a massive mega conglomerate. So they kind of just... They could release garbage, and they would sell it. The Fujitsu Quaderno is by no means garbage, but what I'm saying is Fujitsu is so big, and their name holds so much power that they could release anything and people would buy it. It's a very good, uh, very big company. When you have a glow light, you're in the upper echelons of the Onyxes, the, the, the boy use slash me book, uh, the big me's. Uh, the, anything, um, I don't know, pocketbook, pocketbook, I mean, I was talking note, note takers, and now I'm e-readers, but, yeah, you definitely, you need a glow light, I don't know why they don't have a glow light, I really don't, Hanvon's massive in the world of Chinese consumer electronics, they're a big company, I don't know what they're doing with no glow light on this, what do you feel is the best feature, oh, that's a tough one, Bob, uh, the thing's all over the place, guys. It really is. So, why why it's so much of a chin scratcher is because it's got no touch screen, but then it's got nine buttons on the side. You're like, wow, cool. That's really freaking awesome. I can do page back. I can do page forward. I can do home. I can do refresh. I can do all of these things. But then they're not in English because... The UI has been skinned 95%, except for the stupid buttons. I don't know what they're doing. This is a great unit, but I'm pointing it out as it is, because we're, we're an objective company. Why does it have... Why did you skin the device from head to toe and just forget or just not choose to do the key map? I really don't know what the thought process was there, because nothing else runs into that hurdle where there's no English. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, you can use Google Lens, but it's just one more step. You know, you got to go like this, take a picture, and then look at it and be like, oh, that's what that is. So, yeah, it's it's okay. Um, that would be a good feature, Bob, if you had to say. Uh, but uh, best feature? I don't think it has a best feature. I think the hardware is so good this is a good okay if we take a step back from what this thing can do and look at what it is it's great it feels so good in your hands the materials are top notch corner to corner they're not using that aliexpress gel case quality stuff here no the touch is amazing the 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 matte bezel that curls around to the front is incredible the glass back is superbly black very very nice looking 
you get a pen holster on the side, you get sleep cover, you get a thin, super thin experience with a massive battery. It's an all around really beautifully built unit. And then you get into it and that's where things start to fall apart. The note taking is very, very fine. I like it a lot. The note taking is very good. It feels good. It's very fast. That is a very fast, uh, very low latency. Low latency means fast speed. How is the writing feel compared to the book's Note Air 2? You know what? This nib, I will tell you, I've seen, I, I, it's, you might say it's embarrassing, but we got nibs all over the place, guys. I'm not even kidding. At my desk here, I'm always testing nibs and stuff. I'm not even joking. This nib is a very, very interesting nib. I've never seen it before. It's white, so it's not the traditional... Actually, you know what? It's gray. It's not white. It's not the ones that uh, iReader uses on the X-Pen. And it's not the one Wacom uses. I don't know where it's from, to be honest. It's a very interesting co composition. It looks like it's made up of little hair fibers, almost like fiberglass. It's very interesting. It's not very flexible. The palm is, the black one. This one's not very flexible. And it's a gray tip. I've never seen it before. It's bulbousy. It's not conical. It's not even circular. It's very bulbousy, like a, like a, like a tied-off roast. It's very interesting. It has a tremendous amount of grit. Very. It's like you're drawn on sandpaper. I'm serious. So in that regard, with those tips, this is better than the Note 2 in terms of the writing feel. Is the device better than the Note 2? Of course not. The Note Air 2 is probably the best 10.3 you can buy period that's the best one i mean you can argue all day but it has everything so this is a very good writing experience and when you put that uh plastic one on the plastic nib it gets really kind of glidey and smooth which is still kind of nice it's good to have an option does this support the pen from other brands you know what? It doesn't support traditional Wacom, but I think if I look at my desk here, I think I had a pen. Hold on. I'm just going to go like down here off camera because I think I had one of those uh, bamboo pens. Don't I have one? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I do. There it is. Um, it does work with some pens. Uh, this one you have to turn on, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't work with that. We haven't checked all the pens, but it doesn't work with all pens. Is it a proprietary uh, active capacitive pen? No, you, it is not. Because Hanvon in the past has released uh, regular Wacom note-taking pens. I don't know what this pen is. I, I Honestly, this is, this is really kind of uh, really surprising us, this unit. And Hanvon sent it to us, sorry, there's a hair on the screen, with uh, very limited information. Um, Hanvon's usually pretty good at sending us review samples with uh, proper documentation. They sent us big. Pa they sent us a very big package when they sent us the tiny little luggage tags, but for some reason, this incredibly unique, gigantic unit, they didn't really send us a whole lot of info. We've been speaking with them off and on with um, uh, via email, but uh, it's a weird pen. I don't know where it's from. It's using, you can put Wacom tips in it. If I grab a Wacom tip, actually, does it work? I didn't actually try it. I put it in. Whoops. Yeah, it does work with like a black Wacom tip. The ones that you would put in a Wacom pen. So the tips do, oh, dropped everything. The tips do transmit all the information properly. And you know what? I'm pretty sure just looking at it, this palm tip, I'm going to say this looks exactly like the Stadler one. That's almost a, 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 a shoe-in, a shoe-in for the Stadler one. So they're all over the place, and this is not powered. It's completely EMR, electromagnetic resonance. You don't need power. You don't need to charge it. It doesn't need to wirelessly charge, being in the holster. 
uh, Bob, you can get replacement tips, of course, yes. Um, we are a distributor of Ham Vaughn, um, so yeah, we, we do sell those. It's a weird unit, and uh, if you want a good writing feel... Oh, someone asked something about the pen, uh, the maps, uh, sorry, the mapping. Yes, you can remap. So you push this, and I'm not going to do it because this is kind of muscle memory at this point, or I guess I could do one. So, you, so let's see. Uh, I'll, I can kind of read these ones here. So if I put that down... Yeah, see, they switched. So that says page back and page forward. So you can swap those up and down. Oh, no, I've moved everything. Yeah, I moved everything. I screwed it all up. It's all your fault, Bob. Uh, that's okay. Uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway on this, uh, I assume. So, yeah, that's the uh, that's the unit, guys. Um, really weird coming across the desk at Goody Reader here. That's, that's a weird one. It really, really is. Uh, I've never seen anything quite like this. You see some devices that are business as usual. You get you get your uh, your Note Air twos. You get your ten uh, Boy Me Book P tens, P ten Pro. Sorry, um, you get some uh, Big Me um, uh, B one line. They're all ten point threes, and you're just kind of like, yeah, you know, another dollar, another day, another dollar, and then you get into this, and you're just like, wow, this is this is cool. It's cool. It's a cool thing. It's technical takes a lot of learning to understand what all is going on. Um, uh, the writing feels great. You can sideload in your own content, of course. It just really sucks how you have to use that pen every time. It really does. I would have liked to... If this had a touchscreen, we'd be the game would change. And if this had a glow light, we wouldn't even be talking right now. This thing would be flying off the shelves. So, uh, yeah, it it's definitely is its own class of unit. Nothing else is like this. Nothing. Nothing else is like this unit. Very cool. Uh, it even goes back to the... It takes a couple steps back, and you need to actually click into Scribble in order to scribble, which is a little bit not fun. I would have liked to see Scribble immediately available, and then maybe the page turns from there. Something like that, you know? But, um, sad. See, I don't even know what that says. I can read, like, some of this. That says book. Uh, that says make. That says, like, again. Yeah, some of them overlap into uh, Japanese. That's it, guys. Bye-bye. No, I'm kidding. Well, I mean, I could be. Uh, you guys aren't asking any questions, so we'll do some Q&A if you want. Might be worthwhile just to get good note-taking and templates available. Oh, right back to the questions. Jeez, Chad. Yeah, sure. Let's check it out. Um, I actually don't know if the templates are available. I think we covered that in the review. We do a lot of reviews. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, wouldn't be under previous. Mean or more? Save notes, OCR, nope. What about this one? Uh, nope, that's text input. Um, insert? No, insert should be shapes. Wait a minute, were those always in Chinese? I have to look at the review again. Because I know I did the review and I touched those, but maybe I was just looking at the um, uh, the shapes itself. Add? Nope, that's add page. Wait a minute, they have templates. I, 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 I looked at it, didn't I? Uh, uh Oh, setting. Ah, there you go. Set background. Okay, so we got 369, 9 times 2, 3, 27, 28. 28. Um, wow, these are really nice. <laughs> I, whoops. Kind of missed these, I guess. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Anyone that knows this song. It's 10 bucks. It's not a real song if you've understood what... I mean, that could be, but that's not. I was trying to do a treble clef. I don't know how to do it. And then I just realized that's one. So I could have just done that. Yeah, the templates are pretty cool. They look really nice. Looks like you have a bunch of them. Uh, schedule. Intersected. Composition. Cornell note. All right. Mouth plan. Gotta love that mouth plan. Plan out your mouth. Uh, is there any racer on the back of the pen? Correct, Bob. Do, 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 do. There is. You can swipe, you can scribble, you can tap, and you can go to the erase section right here and double click down and get thin, thick, region, or clear all. Region is the area erase where you can circle a particular area. And Bob is your uncle. Well, your name is Bob. Wow, it didn't even mean that to happen. I don't know where that started. Bob's your uncle. You know what I mean? There's all those names that have sayings. 
all the sayings that have names like Bob's your uncle. Can I be Frank? And I don't know if Frank is now a word because it was initially a dude's name that someone said, can I be like this person, which is straight up. And now now Frank means the word that it means now, but it didn't always. I don't know. All words are made up if you think about it. So anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much the thing, guys. Um, it's been 25 minutes. We're not going to go an hour on this one. We'll go an hour on some units, like if we get a new Onyx, get a new Amazon those ones that really warrant it, you know what I mean? If you guys have any Q&As, we can answer them right now, or otherwise, I'm just going to drink my coffee and stare directly into the webcam. No, that's weird. Yeah, I'm drinking it out of a beer mug, but it's not beer. The templates are sweet. What else is available from the templates? Damn it, Alex, right when I was done? I'm kidding. That's what we're here for. So, if you guys want to take a gander down below here, I just dripped coffee on my keyboard <laughs> hold on <laughs> okay but it landed in between like the arrow keys and delete so we're 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 safe okay here are the uh oh damn it doesn't have a touch screen here we go oh i guess you guys are asking a lot of questions i shouldn't wrap it up so soon oh we have uh chinese calendar plan vertical vertical lines horizontal lines you guys can kind of pause the video if you want to see this this one says english Okay. Might get one of these for my stud management. Does that mean student or study? Because I don't know what that means. I don't think we use that. Or maybe we do. I just don't know. Yeah, it's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of, what do you call it? What's custom shade? Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what that is. So what you can actually do, although you can do it with any device, is download PDFs online of whatever you want sideload them in here and use that as a backdrop so for example actually if you think about it all of these are just images they're just background pdf images they're, they're at the bottom most layer so if i choose that all that is is that lines on a screen so if you go to google and you google like lines and then you save that pdf and put it on here you can open it and it'll look like that what is sketching like uh you mean you mean like like, like drawing something? Um, okay. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I just go here and... What do you want me to draw, man? Um, I'm not I'm not a good sketchist. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do a tree. Oh, yeah, maybe I am good. Yeah, that's it. I quit. Look at that. I know that I see a lot of people do this thing where they do lots of lines, and that makes it look professional. Like, if I did a circle, it wouldn't look as good as if I did this. You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh, man. A new career going here. Okay, watch this. Oh, yeah. See? A little bit of the tree hanging down. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do an apple. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to do some speed lines. Apple fell down. That's pretty good. Dang. No, it's not. Is there pressure sensitivity? Yeah. Oh, wait. Wait a second. There was. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it freaked me out, man. You got to go to the, the pen that has it. Okay. So there's that. And then you can do thicker bleeds. So you do your hairlines and big and small and nice and light and big again like that. Yeah. There's pressure sensitivity. I am going to confirm with them if this is Wacom or not. It could be a variation of Wacom. I really don't know which one they're using. The English template reminds me of kindergarten where you'd be taught to write from. Yeah. No, you're right. Like when there's lines. And you're like, P is like this, and E is like that. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I guess that wasn't silly that they called it uh, English, but it most certainly is silly that they called it, uh, where's this one? Where's my favorite one that I just found? Mouth plan. That's right. Mouth plan. Okay, uh, English, te oh, where is it? Bob, what does the file management interface look like? Oh, Bob with the sick question. Well, there you go. Boom. It's just a file manager. You can basically... So, like, you look at this right here. I put a testing EPUB and a testing PDF on root, and it just found it. So, uh, it doesn't require you to put anything into folders or subfolders. It'll just... It'll just work. I have a feeling that Chad and Bob are very interested in this device. Ch Chad and Bob, if you guys want to grab one of these, <laughs> they're available at the store. Uh, you guys do seem to be really interested in this. A couple of you guys, not everybody. Although, to be completely honest, why we did today... 
uh, without a pause, because I think the YouTube uh, team was like, the Han Von review, I'm looking back on YouTube right now, has better in, um, uh, engagement than the fire, <laughs> the Dasung monitor, the P10, and the Mira Pro, and the Glowlight 4E by Barnes & Noble, it has... And the iFly Tech. And the high, high read gaze. This in two days has more um, uh, engagement and views and uh, um, retention than like the last, you know, like every single other review we've done since the Kaite slate. It's crazy. Hanvon secures its place in the e-reader world in a very strange way they have some really cool pens that no one knows about they have some cool e-readers that no one knows about they have some cool e-notes that no one knows about they make luggage tags that no one knows about it's one of those companies that just we haven't really got to yet and it's true you know i, I do not want to toot our own horn now here's a mess today but it is true because when we get to a company like hisense like uh, plus King Jim, like Big Me, like Freno, like uh, the Kaku Miru, like uh, the Pamera keyboards. We bring it international. That's our motus operandi. That's what we do. We, we're an international company. So um, we haven't really, to be completely honest, we haven't prioritized Hanvon as of late. There's been a lot going on. But this is promising. It's the best built hand Vaughn product we've ever seen. I'll say that. And it's a very good writing experience. And I would say, yeah, as, as for Bob's question, it is better than the Note Air 2 with this pen. The stock Note Air 2 pen, it's not the best. But with the Note Air 2, I mean, sky's the limit. If you wanted to buy a Note Air 2 and then buy a Lamy. Where's my Lamy? If you want to buy a Lamy, really nice pen. If you want to buy a Mitsubishi Hayuni, really nice pen. Buy yourself a Stadler Jumbo great pen so that's going to come down to what kind of pen you're going to use but um out of the box yeah this is probably better in the file interface can you look at files in list view bob what a question can you look at files in list view i can't believe you're asking me that what a what a silly question bob what a silly question i wonder how much more i can stall before i can't figure this out ridiculous question bob I can't figure it out. Uh, maybe, Bob. I don't know. Um, it doesn't look like you can do a list view. Let me go back. Uh, we got the Hanvon Bookstore, My Documents, Notepad Mail. Yeah, it would only be this one. Unless I click here. What does that do? No, that's the internal card. I love how Chinese devices always say internal card. And then when they talk about SD, they say TF, Transflash. It's pretty interesting. No, it doesn't look like you can do... What if I do Size Ascend? No. No, you can't do list view. I'm sure the watch, the Han Vaughn review, because you mentioned it last week, I was pretty surprised by the lack of capacitive touch. Yeah, so were we. we were t and then, you know what? There were reports on Reddit. People were like, no, one of the nine buttons on the side unlocks it. And I'm like, oh, cool, that's great. And then we talked to Han Vaughn. They're like, no, there's no touch. And I'm like, okay, well, either someone's just lying for no reason and saying they unlocked it or... It's just a pretty bad joke because it's not even funny. But uh, And I got a good sense of humor, but that's not funny. I'm not like, that's not funny. But no, that wasn't funny because we looked at it and we're like, that was a weird post that had a ton of engagement. You can unlock the touch. You can't. You can't. Um, we use Google AR. We've even used um, Google AR, Google Lens to translate it and see if there's anything else we can add into the key map. You can't. There is no touch. Hanvon said there's no touch. Just like they said, there's no... Um, glow light you can't make a glow light when there's no glow light it has to be physical leds installed into the gel layer that is it everybody thank you so much for dropping by um unfortunately we got a lot on our plate we're not going to be doing comparisons with this and other things um it's just not there that's just not not there off topic the new e-reader you guys are collabing looks very nice oh yeah big me um uh, if you guys want to know about that, I can talk about that. Um, Big Me reached out to us. When did we start reviewing Big Me? 
well I can go to our channel and go big me and look at the absolute earliest video okay so we started reviewing big me back in January of last year wow and then they sent us a big box full of stuff at the beginning of this year and then from there we did like 20 videos in a row because we had all this stuff we had to burn through um oh thanks tom um yeah so uh we were working with them and uh they they wanted to make a new e-reader and they were asking our advice and you know we had a couple table meetings table meetings meaning zoom and uh yeah we were now um we're now officially uh, branded on uh we've co-branded a product that we're releasing together uh so it's the ink note color and uh i believe michael and the team has already done a review uh not a review a um uh he posted an article about it uh yeah right here and uh yeah we'll be releasing it um very soon so stay tuned for that it's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool it's got uh we we wanted to really just make it fully loaded i mean if you look at the spec sheet which we will put up in a subsequent post it doesn't not have anything aka it has everything there's not really a feature it doesn't have yeah <laughs> so yeah if uh, that's that's uh yeah that's a lot a lot of that's just gonna be coming up soon with uh reviews and um uh we will of course be sending them much like people do with us when we do reviews of their products we will be sending our units to other reviewers to review our product like that so um we are going to review it ourselves, of course, and we're going to say it's the absolute best thing in the entire world, and everything else can just go kick rocks. No, I'm just joking. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of the companies do that. Rakuten bought Kobo. Um, uh, Migu is a massive bookstore chain in um, uh, China. They teamed up with uh, Amazon. They made the Kindle X Migu. Uh, a lot of companies do that kind of collaborative. Um, I, I know Get from China by uh, uh, is a book chain that teams up with like uh xiaomi and stuff like that xiaomi and stuff like that to do these um uh e-readers with like different things on them iReader supplies their bookstore to a whole bunch of devices like uh the ha ha ha, ha the high sense i was gonna say handbot the high sense phone access the iReader store on their devices but they're not iReader so it's like uh yeah there's a lot of collaborations in the industry so that's where we're coming from we uh wanted to just do something really cool and unique and um yeah it's gonna be exciting so thanks so much uh oh this is my go-to channel for information on anything e-reader alberto rodriguez i freaking hope so thanks for stopping by alberto like seriously yeah no, i know i i i certainly hope so um uh we try uh, uh, as the best we can to be as objective as possible and uh you know it's not just me doing things obviously we got about 40 people under our belt here total throughout all of our locations and our offices so we um we do the best we can we try to be everywhere we try to be as big as possible and um uh give you the best coverage possible and do these lives to do some give backs and do giveaways and yeah you know i uh, got a lot of stuff on the, on the docket man there's no slowing down so uh yeah thanks so much chad says it's a looks like a big me max color in a carved body price point is just right yeah 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 we'll talk about that soon chad all right Thanks so much, everyone, for stopping by. We will do a poll for next week's because there's lots of stuff. There's the Pocketbook Era. There's the iFlytech. There's the... Uh, uh, the P10, the Boy Me Book P10. That's coming out, too. Lots of stuff going on. Thanks so, guys. Thank, thanks so, guys. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. Very much appreciated. Chad, Bob, very vocal guys. JD Prunette, uh, Tom Doe. Is horizontal size equal to vertical? On what? On this? No, that would mean it would be a square. It's not a square. It's a rectangle. Most screens are rectangle. And they're measured diagonally. Uh, Dimas. Hello? And Malga? Steven? All the usuals. Thanks so much, everyone. Till the next video. See you later.